What's good guys, it's Jonathan with Stay Fancy Ride and we're back at it again. Bye. What's good guys, great to see everybody again. So, <clears throat> last video I focused on some of the trims, trying to take this off. It didn't go so well. So, but I'm gonna be attempting again. I did have somebody in the comments uh, message me letting me know to get a tack wrench and I went ahead and got one of those so hopefully this time I'm able to remove some of those parts that I have here and uh, you know hopefully get some of this some of this stuff off so when I start to order the rest it won't be so bad um, my fuel line came in though I got this on eBay I think it was only around a hundred bucks 120 bucks uh, the part number is right here. So this is a 5 16th line. Uh, since I do have a 230 engine, uh, the 5 16th is the way to go for that. So, and then I also had, I also had, what do you call it? My starter actually just came in today. So here's the starter. It is an AC Delco uh, starter, brand new. I also got this on eBay for, uh, I think it came out to like 60 bucks with shipping and everything. So the old starter, uh, everything's falling. The old starter was really uh, rusted through. So you can see there. Uh, rusted through and through so I will be um, replacing that and installing the new starter hopefully today I don't have that much time like some of all you other folks but I'm hoping that after uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to get a lot done so with that being said uh, let's move on to some of the work holy crap so oh boy I'm gonna say it's been a good hour, which is really frustrating because to only accomplish what I've accomplished in like a few hours is just downright dumb. But uh, I did manage to finally take off that end of the bumper. There's like a, this bracket tray over here that goes inside here. And just trying to get into those cramped spaces is a real pain, but I loosened it enough to remove it from there and to give me access to the other bolts that are kind of jammed in on the side. But I'm definitely gonna need a new bumper because from the impact, this right here is damaged, if you can see it. Yep, so it's definitely cracked right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this damn thing off. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what happens next here. So I'm saving these here.
from the looking look of it it's pretty bent so on the edge where the accident happened so uh, yeah unless I build it bent it back into the to the way that it was it's not gonna work you'll be able to see here see in that area right here. it's kind of dented upward this one's straight so finally I accomplished this. Oh, man. It's always a work trying to do this, all this stuff. But yeah, the bottom doesn't look too bad. This whole bottom piece, so might actually be able to salvage that and not have to worry about it. So there is a, you know, that to look forward to. Saving all those bolts, saving this bolt. Now I finally have access to everything. And I should be able to take it off. But, um, I'm gonna to take this grill off. I couldn't do it before because of the angle, but. <laughs> I plan on getting a new radiator, but that's a, uh, wow, that is, what are the chances, huh? I don't know if you can see in there, but see all that water spilling down? I had my clamp right here, and it just whoop, fell, hit that thing on the edge. Be careful, boys. I'm already planning on buying one with a uh, dual, with the dual fans. So, it's whatever. Okay, the bolt is out and it is completely done for. Onward to the next. Good news, <sighs> done quite a bit. The nose is finally off. I had to put a little bit of a elbow 
you know, grease on it. But it, uh, it came off, it's, it's off, nothing to worry about. Uh, so I'm trying to take out these bezels now and hopefully install the fuel line before I head out back home. So let's try and... I do have an extra one from the Chevelle. This looks like the exact same one, so I'll probably use that. All right, so I'm gonna keep it at that for uh, the front. This is what we got through today. So you got the headlights, headlight bezels out, uh, the nose and the uh, front bumper with the bumper guards off. Uh, I'll be taking off the grill with the lower bumper uh, after that, it looks like I could still use that lower bumper, but I'm definitely going to be needing a new uh, grill because it's just really bent on that side. And I mean, I, I feel like I could have bent it into place, but I'm honestly not completely sure because I mean, yeah, I'm just not sure. Uh, and then I'm going to need a new radiator support. This whole side right here is dented in. I could bend it back. I just... I don't know, I'd rather have everything new and then I could paint it whenever I get it. So, uh, all right, moving into the, uh, to the fuel line. So, the only thing it really comes with it are these little labels right here. It says, please remove this bend. So I'll be removing that side. And it looks like there's another one over here 
on this side, please remove this bend. Here is the uh, part number. It's a 516 line whenever it comes to a, uh, to a 230 in line six. So I hope that's not backwards on the camera, but focus, focus. There, there, yeah, and, and it's, it's not working. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. gonna paint this but I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore so uh, let's see if I can angle this right so that y'all can see that the piece with the uh, bendable spring goes towards the back and it needs to go above the um, the line that's back here so you make sure I bend that correctly wow. I'm probably scraping the hell out of this okay it's over there let's move and I'm gonna just latch it on as best as I can and I'm probably continue a different day to do the rest I'll probably try and do the back first. to actually um, I need to move it above this right here I don't know the exact word for it right now but as soon as I figure it out I'll let you know but we're gonna put it on top of there first so let's go ahead and try to supposed to go into this corner here slide in towards the other side and there's not a lot left but still the bend here is it's pretty crazy okay and I can just slide it in here there it goes it's on the other side This is not easy. Like right, even right now, it's not. It's just not budging. I'm trying to think of a way to do this. 
but how? I just don't know. Please, Lord, give me the strength. guys my phone died so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video for today uh, I'll be coming back next weekend to finish up that fuel line and then installing the starter motor uh, for the car uh, managed to get a lot done today so feeling a little proud uh, I think the next thing I'll be ordering is gonna be that uh, the radiator with the dual fan and uh, then I'll probably get a a battery and uh, crank the car up, see if it starts. And then I'll slowly start fixing on, uh, up the body work. But yep, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Just showered. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, stay fancy, my friends.